That's a bad bag of The red bag of sucking. Now that's the, you holding the bag, shaking it. Goodness Can I see that bag for a while? Serious bag of Tenga the Great. <laughs> you know, I know a guy who actually worked for that company. He now works for one of our old companies. Um, we Product tester? He, he was, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I should ask him that actually. Do they get like um, free, free things like on like Christmas or something? For example, yeah. and you're like, hey, this is a yeah. use. <laughs> and actually, what, and actually, funnily enough, one of the guys I did, one of the designers I did work with, actually moved over to that company as well. <laughs> that guy came to us, and one of our guys went to them, and he was like, he wouldn't tell us where he was moving to until the last day of work. And then he actually got a job, and I was like, okay, well, that's very liberated. Anyway, <laughs> after that digression, you're up on the roof, and. Um, you see these two strange lizard-like creatures that are perched on either end of the roof that are kind of looking at you with, um, you might say, kind of malice. Kind of, they look a bit, and also if you look down, you hear the sound of a cart. You hear the sound of a cart going over the cobbled streets away from you. So, quick, you we might jump on the cart. Uh, you are 60 feet up and the cart is already quite a long way away. That train is gone, guys. Yeah. Well, that train is going. Um, and as you looked across, you saw, you saw Marlowe's henchman at the front of the cart spurring on the horses. And weirdly, you see Filcher riding on the back of the cart. Bugger. Oh. Looking a bit like uh, Marty Fieldman, I think. Hanging on to something, looking at you with this bug eyed stare as the cart like careers off around the corner. But anyway, your current issue is, of course, these two winged lizard creatures that are looking at you. Maybe How big are they? Uh, they're about they're humanoid size plus wings. Myself, humanoid size, or no, um, normal humanoid size. Oh, you, you are know. small, you mean not normal. <laughs> Five, five foot normal. eight. Average? Five foot eight. And three quarter inch. Three foot is average. So what are you gonna do? Do we, we actually see the card going away? Yeah, you you can you can see it's leaving. You it's sort of like going <laughs> with the classic escaping escaping away from you as you're right. climbing up on the roof. Could I cast a message on to send a message to Filcher like, Oi, what the fuck you doing, mate? Come back here. I was just gonna scream that, but that's very discreet. No, we don't want yeah. Um Filcher Okay, just a minute please. Uh where are we are. Yeah. Yeah. And then the, uh, oh. Yeah. Okay, that's him. Can he reply to you from that? Mm -hmm. He's like, um, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to get my property. Yo, we got the money. Ain't the money. The contract. And your contract. <laughs> Good, bring the contract. I'm going to get the necklace. All right. Okay. Anyway, and as you are... Uh... Oh. I how are we going to get out of the roof? Easy, oh, I have a oh. roof. The but most yeah, well, as you're talking, these uh, creatures start moving towards you. Mm. And they're like... Um, do any of you speak Draconic? I do. Uh, yeah, are they, are they saying to you, what are you doing up here on the roof? Um, 
We are here to clear uh, to clean the chimneys. <laughs> we, we can't really find them on this roof. Maybe we are lost. I don't know. Could you point us to? <laughs> Very good. Roll. Could you roll me a bluff check? Uh, please. Okay. <laughs> Here's the bluff check. And it's a 13. Well, that's pretty convincing. Because <laughs> 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 like, um, they got a two. Um, <laughs> like, Oops. Well, like, the chimneys, you know, they're in the chimney on this roof, and they're there seems to be a chimney, and someone seems to have forgotten to put chimneys on everything. Um, obviously, note to self, put chimneys on the top of buildings in the future. <laughs> and there don't seem to be many chimneys in this bit of town. Uh, I think there's chimneys over on the hotel, and there must be a chimney, actually, because there was a fireplace. So. Oh, yeah, we must have done, like, I, I think we took the wrong right at some <laughs> point. We were going to the hotel. That's right. Yeah, maybe we're lost. <laughs> oh, yeah, can, I can, can have, you, I can have another. Draconic, so I have no idea. Yeah, can you point us to the hotel, please? Because I think we can <laughs> <messed up. laughs> Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, while you're talking, this cart you see it's just disappearing off the hotel. Well, you know the hotel, and they sort of stand up on the roof and they point across, and you can see there's a big city wall, but. You know, over the city wall, you can see the uh, the TPK hotel. Mm -hmm. oh, um, over cool. to the uh, over off to the if you're looking at this to the left, so it's over off to the west. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it's, uh, it's over there, the hotel. Oh. Damn it! All right, thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> we'll be on our way then. So you're not a flight risk then. I'm sorry, why? Uh, the people on the roof, we're flight risks. That's why we're on the roof, you know? We're every every law uh, has a flight risk. Ah. <laughs> flight risk. Huh. Yeah, that's why we're up here. We're, you're not a flight risk. What? Are you a flight risk? Um, what is that? <laughs> It's draconic. You don't understand. Yeah, like, I don't understand the conversation. <laughs> sorry. No, no, no. Do I know what a flight risk is? Do you don't uh, know what a flight risk is? No I mean, intelligence. A flight risk. Intelligence, huh? Again. If you're a criminal, it has to give up their passport. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Not my forte, but oh, it's a plus two. Okay, 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 okay. Twelve. Twelve. Mm. Well, you, you kind of heard it bandied around in you know in your your drunken stupors when they were talking about um, you know bad ah. people who were uh, you know weren't able to leave cities because they couldn't get their documentation to, ah. you know to, to travel and things like that. How people would get their documentation taken off them because oh, they might yeah. train and yeah. they. Justice. Yeah, the thing they did to me in Dubai, actually, they did this. Yeah, they took my passport. I couldn't leave. Yeah, okay. Never go to Dubai. Never go to Dubai. Never go to Dubai. I've heard Dubai. so many bad things about Dubai. I've heard. Mm -hmm. uh, I lived there for four, four and a half years. Yeah. Wow. Great. I mean, I, I heard of people getting arrested at Dubai. For having like painkillers in their luggage, yep. the same painkillers as they're selling in the chemists in the airport. Hmm. But if you have them in your luggage, they'll arrest you for drug trafficking. Yeah, yeah. yeah same way. for for alcohol. You can't transport alcohol unless you have an alcohol license, even in your blood. So if you're drunk at a hotel, oh. take a taxi home because if they catch you on the street, you're basically trafficking alcohol illegally. You can go with the blood in, alcohol in your blood and then bleed into someone's mouth. I don't know. 
I mean, yeah. Maybe Transfuse. you're selling your blood somewhere. Yeah, yeah. maybe you're transfusing a lot of blood. You know, who knows? <laughs> blood beer. Oh, yes. no, I, I have it's, an idea for a new business. Yeah, uh, it's a crazy country. Don't go there. Yeah, I've never been and I would never go. As yeah, a woman, I don't want to go there. <laughs> so yeah, flight yeah. just caught. Uh, yeah, so you've got the right documentation then. Uh, let me see. I'm looking through my... Uh, I guess if you're chimney cleaners, you must be like... Where are your brushes? Uh, well, you see, we don't need brushes. <laughs> We're using wow. the halfling <laughs> as the brush. <laughs> <laughs> is it looking like <laughs> he has like <laughs> very curly hair you know well we are basically <laughs> using the, the toes of the halfling you know that that fur is perfect to you know they say we've just remembered where the chimney is on this roof if you just look oh the side of the house actually just on that east side hey we'd really like to see you use the half thing to clean the chimney that okay. looks great and they start looking at you expectantly okay i'll explain to the guys that um let's go clear the side chimney okay All right. what did you tell them what are you talking about um don't worry about it business i i came up with a new business proposition we're going to um this guy moves over here and he's like pointing down and you can see halfway down the wall there's a like one of those little sort of like extractor fun chimney things coming out the side of the house right. is that the way out yes um and you have to go through first fiber <laughs> oh fine with me see you guys down all right so I'll give you some rope. This guy just like launches it. off the yep. roof and, and this yep. guy launches off the roof and they're just sort of flapping around, treading air as it were, expectantly. Yeah, this is going to be really great. I want to see the half we fit in that hole. <laughs> How nice of those guys to just help us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so tie this rope around you. <laughs> I'm going to make an inside check on Nina. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> this is too... Uh... This is pushing it. Twenty. Ooh, shit. 20. Okay. Deception. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> fine. Fine. And yeah, I will no. try to just uh, whisper to you, like, just, just go with it. We are not chimney okay. cleaners. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I believe him, and I'm chimney cleaner. You say. Mm -hmm. I have like a brush with me, just in case. Okay. Oh. Okay. Yeah, let's go. So maybe we can tie the rope in my long axe because you say like the chimney is a little like uh like out of the building right yeah like it, the building is like this it's on the side of the building on the outside yeah. wall so maybe so we can need... we can use my jacks to give a little more reach <laughs> okay yeah so can you move no. yourselves over to that side of the building mm. Like um, here or something, or here? Yeah, probably about there. Okay. Wait, we're level four, right? We're level five. five. Oh, okay. Level five. Sweet, I got a new proficiency bonus. Your your mic is a little low, Chris. Yeah, this is an old mic. It, I, I actually mm -hmm. thought it was broken until I bought this new computer. But the computer is also old, so God only knows. <laughs> it's okay. On. So I, only... oh. I just realized that this mic I have doesn't work for anything. Wrong one. <laughs> so I only weigh about 40 pounds, so you guys can yeah. lower me. Yes, I'm pretty strong, I think, so it shouldn't be a problem. So can you hold your axe out with me and then just lower me? Yeah. Do I need to make like a strength check or uh, something like that? Yeah, you need to make a strength check. How have you attached the halfling to the rope? Like by the waist? Okay, so you're just sort of tied on, right? Yeah, yeah. as if you were fishing. Oh, 23. Great. I don't know yeah. what, why it was twice, but yes, 23. Yeah, so, so the halfling just kind of lowers down. Yep, yep, yep. 
No, it's down. You're lying down on the side of the building and down to about here, and you can and you're just sort of swinging around in, 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 the, in the middle of nowhere. And uh, take out my see... trance and you let them. <laughs> uh, you flip. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Is it better now than it was before? Oh yeah, much yes. better. Yeah. Okay, so th better. this headset is shot. So. Mm. Okay. So these guys are just sort of flying around. They're like, can we help? I don't get what they say. No, we got this. <laughs> we are professionals, trust me. OK. MP doesn't really know what goes going on, but this is amusing. <laughs> <laughs> but I really haven't thought this through. What are we going to do afterwards? Huh? Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> what do they want? All right, I shy to them. Watch closely. We're going to start our our famous act of cleaning the chimneys with a halfling. <laughs> I'm just confused, but I'm going down. <laughs> uh, I'm, as soon as I get to the chimney, I'm mm -hmm. going to try to get another rope and tie it there, so like okay. it can get down after me. And then okay. use the other rope to land the rest of the way. Okay, the chimney's of course quite warm, not hot, but That's warmish. It. You know, uh. kind of because you know, there's a nice fire burning downstairs. So it, can, can I touch it? it? Like, yeah, you can touch it. It's it's just you know it's, it's warm. It's not quite, not quite uncomfortable. Uh, well, how about? Well, you're in the shot, so uh. yeah. So I turned it off. I'll yell to the guys like, um, actually, we need to make sure for our employee safety that we mm. we first need to turn off like the fire. No, like he cannot really go in there. Well, I okay. think he can go in there. So it's first, we need to get off here, you know, okay. uh, get rid of the fire and then we can do the, the thingy. Okay. Yeah. And how do we get down? Well, you're the experts. I'm um, of chimney cleaning. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Chimney cleaners. You know, you come on. We've all seen the movie. Why not? <laughs> so chim now chim we have the rope. Chim 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 Let's go. Okay, I guess. Did you just say that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> In common. <laughs> yeah. In common. common. They they kind of fly they fly up and they, in common they say, "What do you mean by escape?" Uh, you speak you are common. A, you speak common. Yeah, that's yeah. the code word for first. We have to extinguish the fire. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? <laughs> that's, uh, an escape. that's like chimney cleaner <laughs> terminology. Yeah, yeah, you know where the uh, the fumes come up and they escape. This is an escape. <laughs> <laughs> We're making an escape right now. Okay. Well, you have the rope tied, so I guess I'll start climbing uh, can, down. Can somebody roll me deception there? Fuck. I will. <laughs> yeah, you do it. 18. Oh, 18. very good. And they, 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 they flunk. They're like, oh, you mean escaping the escaping fumes and all that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So we do actually speak common. We were just, you know. It's not your just, first language, right? It's not our first language. We prefer draconic, but. Yeah, it's, yeah I prefer halfing, but I mean, who's going to speak out? Uh, okay. <laughs> right. So now okay, that we've so... published that, can you help us? I've get everyone here because you know we need help working with this thing. Oh yeah, very difficult. You guys fly, right? right? Can't yeah. have too many hands. Well, can you guys okay. take us down to the ground floor, please? Mm -hmm. Can you roll me persuasion? <laughs> All right, I... persuasion. I can, I can help you. All right, I'll help too. I can tell them like yes. It... We just need Ooh, to get to the ground to be able to. Okay, <laughs> you, you got this. 
Oh. They're like, well, we can try. Um, so who's going first? I'm the lightest. Yeah, you go. Except the halfling, who's already down in the chimney. Yeah, and I have a rope to get down, so... Yeah. You guys go. Yeah, yeah I I usually deal with the uh, the escape at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Chris, I assume you walk over here. Mm-hmm. And uh, one of these guys sort of grabs onto you. Um... Like, mm, you're kind of, mm, and he, he sort of flies out here a bit, and he's like, "You're pretty charismatic, aren't you, Chris?" Yeah, extremely. Yeah, he's like, "Oh, yours." Oh, oh, oh! He's finding it harder. He's just having a, a snack. Mm-hmm. He's like, "I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna eat you." <laughs> <laughs> That is a natural 20, apparently. For intimidation, wow. wow. <laughs> Pretty good. Like, oh, okay. I got yeah. my mind out already, I guess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bonk. Takes you down. Oh, I thought you dropped me. <laughs> no, no, no. He flies you down to the ground floor. Oh. Um, That's Thank pretty you. nice. And this guy's like, uh, Lena, I guess mm-hmm. uh, you're coming too? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so he flies you down. Oh, and thanks. this guy flies ends down. Thank you. And the halfling, well, you're, you're still on the rope, aren't you? Yeah. Can do. Let, let, Clint can let go of that rope. Uh huh. I already did because I'm on the floor. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you're you're hanging on the rope off the chimney. How good are you at climbing? Very good, actually. And no halflings are good at climbing. Mm-hmm. You can do acrobatics, or you can do uh, athletics. I go for acrobatics. Twenty-three. Ooh. Whoa! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So these guys, they they fly back up onto the roof and they take that and they're like, you. okay, uh, we'll be waiting. Nice and clean. Yeah. Nice and clean. In a clean escape. <laughs> well, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let, let's get very far from here, please. <laughs> <laughs> this place is evil completely. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we pitch after the chariot with the uh, filter? I think oh, so. Yeah. Where did Future go? All that way, yeah? Yeah, they went that way. Mm. Yeah, so let's just... Okay, so you head off this way, okay? Just a minute, I'm gonna move you. Okay, Okay. let's see if this works. Was that way in the world they did that? Hold on. Uh, getting over here. Oh. I'm going to have to move you again. You're going somewhere else. Sorry, this is very long. <laughs> you have to go here. Beep, 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 beep. Oh. Phlegm. Oh, I remember the beach. Yeah, the beach. <laughs> That's where I was heading, but things happened. Yeah. So the car you see has uh, is disappearing thing? off up the road as you hit the ground, and uh, in fact, by the time you get there, it's kind of probably about oh, it's kind of. I wish I can you group these. Um, it's kind of heading off up this way. Mm. Is the far away to like to Screaming. get to? Are you guys on this map? Where are you? Uh, I guess we have to drop ourselves again. Yeah. Drop yourselves on. So you should be. Uh, yeah, you're there, right? Yeah, it's very big. There. Yeah. Wow. Sure you're huge. <laughs> it's a big thing. 
you know, absolute giants. Uh, anyway, these guys are disappearing rapidly off up the road. Well, since I'm apparently 50 feet tall now, I have no trouble catching up. <laughs> <laughs> um, unfortunately, seeing that they're 100 feet tall, <laughs> no. they have no fault evading you. So you see them heading off up, which, which you know is the road that went towards Marlowe's cave, because you've been up that road before. Mm. Okay. They're going back to the cave. I think so, yeah. What for? Let's follow them then. Yeah. Yeah, I think I don't we want have... to be in this city too long. People are very weird here. Yeah, yeah. guys, I'm yeah. definitely not paying back the 59 gold I own. Oh, okay. no. Motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you're following them, yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's okay, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to move you again then. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to move you. Oh god, I didn't want this out. Well, we live and learn because this guy is now. You gotta go all the way across here. And the thing about this is that it doesn't. Oh. Uh, drag it. No. Nope, yeah. And you get oh, to okay. here. Okay. Spoiler. Um, <laughs> So where you need to be is you need to be along here somewhere. All right. And basically, this is kind of it takes you a while, right? You've been going up the road. This is taking you about. Um, I don't know. They they disappeared off up the road, and you chased after them. And this is about uh, twenty minutes later. You've been heading up the road, <laughs> trying to catch up with the cart, which of yeah. course was traveling faster than you. And you get to this. Um, you see up ahead of you some of the in the you went through this place no problem last time when you went to Marlow's cave it was like um well it didn't exist that's why but now it does but um it was just all the gates were open and people were coming and going without any problem and this is just outside of the city there's this little fort next to a bridge next to the river that runs across you know and for some strange reason this time you find that the gates are shut Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Can we go around it? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Never go around when you can go through. Can go through. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, no. You just swim up at the river. <laughs> um, the river's pretty deep and pretty fast. And you see there are guards stationed on top of the towers and they're looking at you. Pushing on the gate. I get close to the gate and I knock. Tuck, tuck, tuck. And I say, well, what's your business? Oh, hello. We just want, they just want to cross the river. Can we? Um, you'll have to talk to the boss. We've got a bit of a problem at the moment. Who's the boss? Well, the boss is inside. Well, then we need to get inside. That is... Logical, yes, I, I think that's probably the case. Um, where are you heading? To the other side of the river. And what's your business? You know, for a bridge guard, you're not the brightest, right? <laughs> They're not the brightest, no, they're just regular guards. It, it may be better to talk to, directly to your boss. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm stupid. <laughs> Oh boy. That was easy. Yes. <laughs> so, what's this problem you're having lately? You're going to see when you get inside. Uh oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, uh, they. Save. Oops. That was just a straight check. Bonk. I would like to keep <laughs> an eye out for our wanted posters. All of this adventuring is really doing good things for my pecs. I bet. Okay, so you go inside, and when, when you go inside, you see this rather tense conversation happening. Um, you see this guy um, here, who looks like he's the boss in charge, with... Uh, what looks like some pretty tough looking bodyguard guy and they're having this very 
tense conversation with this guy who looks a bit like Marlow but kind of different and 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 two kind of strange otherworldly looking beings mm -hmm. uh, and I don't know if you're gonna know what gifts look like but mm. what, what looks like gifts Gif. Oh, gifts. Oh, yeah. boy. And this guy looks like Marlow, and he's got, like, the tentacles going. But unlike Marlow, he looks, he's all green and fresh, whereas Marlow's kind of grey and flaky. Mm -hmm. And these guys are having some, like, looks like some kind of altercation. Well, not quite altercation, but some kind of rather sensitive discussion. Yeah. Can I sense evil coming from that guy? Which guy? Loma? Uh, well, the guy that looks like Marlo. This one. Yeah, that's Loma. This guy. Loma. Uh -huh. Loma. This guy. No, it's not. It's not right, this guy. It? Yeah, this, this guy. Yeah, okay. this guy. Yeah, okay. evil. Yeah, evil. This is okay. like evil, evil. Evil, evil. <laughs> and his the friends are evil, evil too. I guess a uh, intelligence check just to see if I know what a gif is. Okay. Apparently not. <laughs> no, I think it's an image format. Yeah. Yeah, okay. it's an image oh, you mean a gif? <laughs> oh, a gif. Yeah. <laughs> For Peter Pan. Can uh, we hear the conversation? Well, no, it's weird because they appear to be having a conversation, but their lips aren't moving. <sighs> Telepathic conversation. Yeah. That's not Marlo. Maybe we should just go to the other side of the river. Is it walk right. like nothing is happening towards the yeah. other door? And keep going through. Well, I mean, yeah, well, if you do that, I guess these guys just sort of swiftly move across. Oh, these guys swiftly move. Oh, please let me select and move. No, no, they're growing. I want to move them. Why is it not letting me move? So mm -hmm. move. Come on, come on. Why does it always do this at that? Mind player, it's a Medusa. They're yeah. all strong. Look at that. He's just stretching and not moving. Why is it stretching and not moving? Ah, he moved. Okay. Beep. And this guy very quickly moves across there. And this guy that looks like Marla kind of looks at you like he's zing. Could you not charge that right behind yeah. me? Does anyone speak under common? Uh, you? No, not really. this character. No. I don't think so. But I probably recognize it. <laughs> and this guy kind of looks at you, and this guy kind of looks at you, and, and the, the guy, this, uh, this guy, sort of like doing the <laughs> sign. Wait, the boss guy. He yeah. wouldn't happen to be a drow, would he? No, he's not. He's a regular human guy. And the other one's not a drow, visibly? Nope. Okay. Ugh. Don't like mind flayers, but they don't drink. I have nothing against them. <laughs> the drow. Oh. Anyway, a voice in your... Oh, is that you, Cleanse? I wait, because we were walking through the... like. In yeah, the we started the walking, door, so. basically. Yeah. You started walking... And uh, the, the, there's a voice in your head that you seem to understand that just says, Stop! <clears throat> and I say, like, okay, I just stop and I say, Sure. We want to cross this bridge. Yeah. What we're is going, going on? The river. Why? We're going to the other side of the river. Why? <laughs> there's stuff <laughs> over there. Well, the, the creation that's what we want to find out. <laughs> What's your business? We're going to the other side of the river. Don't seem surprised to see me. Oh, we have seen someone similar to you. You ask a lot of questions. Are you really going to let us pass through here? 
couldn't have any business with you. Yes, you do. What business is that? You have something. Y yes, I do. I have <laughs> this cup. Yeah, yeah we, we have our things. We have lots of things. <laughs> you should let us pass. I have drums. I say from the back. You have what? Drums. Drums. <laughs> you should let us me? pass. We're good people. <laughs> We have, you know, we have no business. I hide behind you. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? So, Chris, can you make a wisdom saving throw? Even after that Oof. wonderful persuasion. Let's see. <laughs> it's a good Six try. Or 30, what? I don't understand these rolls. Why is there two? Yeah, it's always uh, rolling two. I don't know why, but um, maybe we can, it we can you take the first one. automatically, and you have to change it in your uh, character yeah, sheet. In your character sheet, you have to set yeah. like don't well, never use yeah. advantage. Yeah. What is it? Oh, there's a setting like you go to your character yeah. sheet and then. Uh, there's like a small brown things before uh, besides core beer spells. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then just turn really? off always roll with advantage. Attributes and abilities. Well, it's in uh, roll queries, and it says, I mean, I have it set to query advantage, so it would actually ask you if you want advantage or not. It put it never be good. Yeah, just put it to never roll, and that's it. So what you get? I guess 13. Oh dear. You can feel something probing into your mind and looking into your memory. It's and, not charm uh, magic, though, is it? Hmm? It's not charm magic. No. I don't think so. No, it isn't. And it's sort of going back. Back. You have the back. Oh, the what back. That's the back. I don't have the bag, do I? Well, you've seen it now. Who's got the bag? It doesn't work. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah. You... So, so, somebody's carrying the bag for sure. I don't know. Bard had the bag, right? You, Nelina took the bag. I okay, think. then I have the bag. <laughs> With I my sixth strength, I'm carrying a big fucking bag. <laughs> yeah, but it's strangely light. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, I think we did have a conversation, and I, I had it. Because <laughs> you're my best customer. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so this mind flow is probing your mind, and it's like, oh god, I don't need to see that. Oh, please see that. <laughs> oh, oh poor, poor woman, what have you been through? Anyway, like, <laughs> back, back, the red bag. Oh yeah, that's mine. It's not. It is now. <laughs> Can we hear this happening, or is only in her mind? It's all going on uh, in Cleanse's mind. Sorry, in uh, NPC's mind. That uh, we're like everyone is just quiet, and we're just like waiting for something. Yeah, you can happen. just see like M there, NPC like the drum set uh, distance. Well, guys, it. What do you want the bag for? I don't want the bag. Oh, okay. Well, then let us pass. I want what's in the bag. But uh, that's the same thing. Bags work that way. Nobody wants the bag. <laughs> Everyone wants what's in the bag. I know. That's why I want what's in the bag. But uh, I... Oh, this is stupid. <laughs> yes, you are. Where are you taking me back? Why is everybody so What? Huh? Hmm? Where are you taking me back? Wherever I go, because it's mine now. Including what's inside it. You've seen someone that looks like I mean, yeah, Can there's lots of money on mine. Yeah, everyone's back to him. 
I mean, are we taking the bag to Marlo? No. No. Yeah, I thought... <laughs> just asking them that. <laughs> no, that was metagaming. I yeah, thought you we were taking the bag ourselves. He just wanted the contract. Yeah. So the contract was for future. Yeah. For future, yeah. Future. Oh, we, he didn't even want it. Yeah, this is, this is our bag. Stay away from my bag. Don't touch my bag. <laughs> or what's inside. Do you know what's inside? No. It's none of your business either. Shoot. I know. Well, then tell me. You don't want to have me. But, but, uh, <sighs> <laughs> we have to that. Somebody else needs to get mine played. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I'm just confused. <laughs> Why don't you look in the back? Is that trying to control me or just asking? It's um, not trying to control you, but it is suggesting. Hmm. I have no reason Unless to... Unless you're, uh, you're a monster. <laughs> no. <laughs> if you're a monster, it might, it might try dominate monster on you but no. maybe i will later on my terms hm. i think you should look into it now hm. why don't you look into the bag oh no i'm not going to join them them yes what there, there's things in the bag that are alive i thought it was just ah, coins that depends mean by that. Oh, great. It's a bag of skeletons again. <laughs> Are they all over? <sighs> look in the bag. No. I don't want to look at skeletons. You're freaky. You're weird. <laughs> out of my way, sushi breath. <laughs> He's like quite flattered. <laughs> roll me, uh, roll me a, a persuasion check, Chris. Hold on, where's the window? Wait, before minute. that, can, can I do something, too? Yep. Because I can see like this kind of telepathic conversation is happening, so I get close to NPC, and I okay. cast protection from evil and good. Okay. It is going to give her advantage, well, disadvantage to the people who are trying to, to do something against her. persuasion. Just, look, just let us go across the river and leave no. us alone. 23 persuasion. Okay, well, first, the, the uh, mind flayer just doesn't notice you cast the spell because he's so absorbed in uh, in uh, NPC. Uh -huh. And uh, persuasion at 23. I hide behind Lena. Why? <laughs> okay, so, so now the mind flayer has this advantage against NPC. Do you know why? No, uh, I don't. I'm not... the bag. He didn't say anything about the bag. It's my bag now. That's they so took all easy. my money, so I'm taking it back. That's so easy to manipulate. I can see why he wants your soul. Oops. What? It can see what my <laughs> wants my soul? I can see why Marlo wants your soul. Marlo wants your soul. Now we know. <laughs> Why does Marlo want my soul? Why does everybody want my soul all of a sudden? I'm just a bartender. How old are you? You have very good spirits. How dare you? <laughs> this guy is annoying me. We I should probe your mind. And he starts probing. You can feel him probing in to try and like find out I your age. Like nasty memory. <laughs> Do you want to make another wisdom save? Yeah, sure. Why not? Gonna send them a memory of a hangover. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Ooh, effective. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Psychic damage. Probe on that. <laughs> Squid face. Why is it doing this? Well, in quarantine, it's hard to keep the weight off, even for NPCs. 
it. This guy's just expanded <laughs> out really large for some freaking <laughs> reason. No. And that, now it won't let me. It, it's like it, damn. This is like the freaking vectors in After Effects. They never do the, what you want them to do when you want them to do it. They always do the exact opposite function. It's like it was doing the resize. But oh, now we got it. Oh, it's doing the resize function when I want it to move it, and now it's doing the bloody move function when I want to resize it. Oh, I will just leave them like that. These guys <laughs> move aside. And they're like. You'll be following. Uh, can, can we go? Uh oh, I don't like the look of that. <laughs> oh. And he Good. looks at the he looks at the human, and he's like tentacles waving, and the human guy's like, "Open the gates!" Okay. Let's get the hell out of here. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wasn't that bad? Okay, are we across the river? I guess so. If you want to be, maybe gonna gonna flip gonna... off. Nope. The, the... <laughs> <laughs> you notice there's a couple of archers. <laughs> you notice there's a couple of archers up on the towers, and they've got their their like bows trained on you. They're like. Don't think we'll be seeing you guys again. Uh, yep. Peace. Brown. Okay, I guess no, we can see it's, no, it's doing the reach. Like, God damn, this is annoying. Me. It's more annoying than my freaking <sighs> chomp. We have to find a new way to cross this river. Um, yes. Yep. I don't does, want to kill these guys. I don't know. Goodbye, gift. I throw a fireball. No, I don't. <laughs> that would be fun. It's like, bye. Yeet. You see these guys there? Okay, so you, you head across the river. Yeah. And. We continue the way to try to look Yeah, you continue along the road. Yeah, and now we're we change to... maps again. Yeah, but now we have to track the cart because I guess we lost a lot of time here. Ooh, pretty. This map is so empty. I love this map. Can we find a uh, small place now that we have to track anyway and take a short rest? That would be uh, a good yeah, idea. Oh, because yeah. I could definitely use one. Well, what you can see ahead of you is this little wood and the, the road leading on. So, yeah, um, you want to put yourselves at the bottom of the yeah. map. Yeah, there. I think it's a good idea. Let's take a resty rest. Yeah, it would be good to take a short rest. Let's take a nap by this tree. <laughs> let's get to the, into the trees. Okay, let's get yeah. to the trees, I guess. Because it's a little protection, maybe. Yeah. Like a little far away from the road. Okay. And let's set a little camp just to take a rest. Okay. Like, sure what time of the day is it? <sighs> this is stupid. Everything is stupid. What is even in this bag? Let's take a look. Why, why do you wonder about the bag right there? The squid was asking about it. You should have just showed me. Look, look in the bag. Uh -huh. You look in the bag? Yeah. Okay. Before um, after the short rest. After the short rest. <laughs> okay, Chris. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You're looking in the bag. Yep. Okay. Guess I'm looking what? at him looking at the bag. You need to make a wisdom save. <sighs> I knew it. Oh, wait, that's the wrong tab. I think wisdom saves are my specialty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's all balanced. Okay, Chris, can you make me a constitution save? Those actually are my specialty. I was being facetious a moment before. Okay. Ouch. I still got a plus four. That's still an ouch. Okay, you guys see Chris open the bag and you hear this like horrible otherworldly screaming and like multiple voices going, ah! and then you see Chris just kind of. 
well, not Chris, you see MPC just sort of stun their mouth open. Uh, I quickly, I, I quickly close go and close the, the, close the bag. Well, he closes the bag kind of in a catatonic state and just looks at you with these like black lifeless eyes. I know. Or soulless eyes. Uh oh. And she's standing there holding this bag. <laughs> Do we know what is going on with her? Like, I don't know, arcana check or religion check or something like that? You can try. Is it evil force? You do a medicine check, I'll do an arcana. How about that? Okay. Wait, wait, was this an evil force? Um, I'm not going to say it's evil. Ah, damn. Why? So much for the protection from good and evil. Well, um, that's <laughs> true, yeah. My, my medicine check is 19. Um, she's fine physically. Uh, Arcana 11. Well, Arcana check is, damn, her eyes look weird. Yep. <laughs> uh, I don't know, a religion check? <laughs> you just check everything. Yeah, check everything. Have I seen this before? History check. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's just tired. <laughs> <laughs> is she, is she yeah, she's she's tired and emotional. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's it's yeah, it's that uh, time. Uh, I'm religion. religion. Yeah, well, you're religion. like you're like. Hmm. And this person doesn't look like she's got a soul. Okay, so I think NPC doesn't have a soul anymore. So if you what do you mean? If you imagine like, I'm like James Brown had lots of soul, she is now the direct antithesis to James Brown. Oh. She is the least funky elf in the universe. This is something yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of bad. Um, Show her the bag again. Maybe she gets another. Uh, I don't know. If that's a good idea. Like, or try to take something out. Without looking inside, like just. Do you want to try? I am not yeah. that fast. Yeah, I'm very good with my hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's your passive perception, guys? Fourteen. Passive. Not great. Fourteen. Yeah. Eleven. Okay. Eleven. Okay. Um. Okay. Fine, what are you doing? I'm gonna grab the bag and uh, yeah. first show it to NPC again, like let's see if something happens. Uh, no reaction. And I close it again. Chris, Chris you, if you don't mind my meta gaming, from now on you need to play NPC like a junior high school student who's been studying too hard for their exams. Okay. Yeah, yeah, about like that. <laughs> <laughs> you got the the feeling. And I'm gonna close it again. I'm gonna put my. Whoa, just whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you open the bag? Hmm? You open. I the opened bag. the bag and it showed it to NPC. Oh, you showed it to NPC. You didn't look okay, at without it looking into it. Just like yeah. Okay. Hey NPC, you look really down. Want a drink? No, thanks. <laughs> What? Wow, this is serious. Wow. You're sick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, it pains me so I'm much tired. to see my favorite bartender. My so hand down. Inside, grab something. Hmm? From the back. Without looking inside, I'm going to just put my hand in and try oh. to grab something. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to put your hand in the bag. Yeah. Uh, Romeo Wisdom save. <laughs> <laughs> right. 16. 16. You're like, just as you're about to put your hand in, it's like, oh, it's really not a good idea. And you like just instinctively put your, your hand out again. It's like, oh, no, 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 no. You start to feel your soul being sucked from your body. Okay. Yeah, I think this is about the bag of soul sucking. So yes. 
Yeah, we need a, a bag yeah. of puking. <clears throat> we can use it as a weapon, though. I think okay. so. Can I keep it? Yeah, if you like. Okay. But there's no money in it. Damn it. No, we, we need to get NPCs sold back. Yeah. Somehow. I think what we have to do is get a bunch of souls inside this bag, and eventually it's going to come up. You mean fill the bag with souls until it tips over? Yeah. <laughs> that um, would work. Well, I try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around and see if I see anybody. I need Check. to take a rest. No. Yeah, it's funny you should say that. And see it's if funny I... you should say that. You know, look around oh. and see if you see anybody. Uh, what, what happens if you cut the bag open? Maybe the souls will pour out. Uh, do you uh, want to try it? <laughs> I mean, I don't have a knife, but you do. I have. I can lend you my knife. Oh, yeah, NPC, give me your knife. Oh okay. no, make NPC do it. Maybe you can extract your own soul. I uh, could if I wanted to. <laughs> you really want to? So they say. You don't need to want it. Just do what, what we say. In a minute, I need a break. All right, let's do this after. Yeah, it's at this point in your happy lives when you hear this sort of growling, you hear this growling, growling. I mean, yeah, like oh, like Albert growl. No, Alberts don't growl. No, more like they look more feline. Yeah, More like this. you need to roll the Nishi What's at this? you. Oh, it's kitty. kitty. Oh, it's a kitty. Yeah. Hi, kitties. We're yeah. gonna right. fight a bunch of. And so you get 14. Oh, look, cats don't have souls, so the bag won't work on them. Mm. <laughs> they may have souls. We can try. But they're animals. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, it's the map. initiative. Yeah. yeah. How did I put these guys in the initiative order again? I don't remember. Oh, uh, see, I won it. It was, it was in the uh, thingy, won it? Add turn, that's right. Okay. Oops, I didn't touch it. Oh, now I get a natural 20. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to minute. I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm going to have to do that. Oh, God, it's not cool. Can I rage without a soul, or are my abilities impeded? Yeah. No, your abilities are fine. You're just a soulless individual. So I, I can't use my abilities? You can use your abilities. Oh, OK. Like, if you want. Without You're basically on autopilot. So mm -hmm. you will do everything you would normally do, but, um, without but without a soul. So. I changed my avatar to reflect it. Yeah, very good. That's. Turns out there's a lot of elf pictures online. Uh, are there any of them without the elf naked? Actually, do something in real life. That's actually really fitting. Perfect. Okay, so turn it on. Good. All right, so right here, Epson scan. Just open this up, and there's a button down here, scan. Put it on here, scan, it will save to a PDF. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, so you see these large tigers with large teeth <clears throat> mm -hmm. coming towards you through the forest. And this is before um, the short rest. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah. just as you were settling down to your short reg, and then you decided to go and rest in, in, in the wooded area. Damn woods. <laughs> yeah, right where the kitties were waiting. You hear the kitties coming towards you. <sighs> okay. So, who's up first? Cleanse. You see... Uh, I don't think I'm the, I'm the first. Yeah, you need to sort by thingy. 
Oh, you need, oh, you know, oh, sorry, sort by, oh, where do I do sort by, is that here? Sort options, A to Z, alphabetical. I think uh, someone. New, is there missing. we go. Oh, so it's Lena. Yeah, but the NPC didn't roll for initiative yet. Yes, I did. Oh, did you? Twenty-three. What did you get? Uh, oh, why are you not in there? Uh, I think it's because yet? you didn't um, click on your click token. Your token. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. It's okay. You can click on your token, roll another one. That will put you in there, and then just change it to twenty-three. Let's try again. And roll initiative. It. Yeah, and now just go in there and change it. Woohoo, I'm first. I mean, sorry. Oh. Woohoo, I'm first. <laughs> <laughs> go get him, girl. Uh, you got this. There okay. might be two MPs in that. I'm, no, yeah, you're fine. Oh, no we've got two MPs, as usual. Yeah, well, there's one, there's the NPC that had a soul in the NPC. The soul and the not soul. But yeah, the other one's your mm -hmm. soul crit in the bag. Oh, no. All right. So there's three-ish cougars three -ish. coming out of? Cougars, yes. Cougar your friend's tiger. crit, the cougars. If not only the NPC is the cougar. Boys to feed them, we could escape. <laughs> All right. Is it my turn then? Or... Yep. Yep. All right. This cool. is making me angry. Go get them, uh, tiger. Uh, crap, they're tigers. Go oh. get a tiger. All right. Well, I'm raging, and this so is it's kind of cougar on cougar action, is it? Yeah, and I'm gonna do my attack and my bonus attack. You know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. So that is a six, so five and three, so that's a six. All right, so first attack, 20. Second attack, 21. Yeah, both hits. All right, so 2d4 plus three and roll. Oh, sorry, that's 23 total slashing. 23 total slashing. Wow. Do the 20. It, no, those are. Oh, wait, what? Sorry. Ten plus was, ten I clicked on the D4. Sorry. <laughs> so that so, is 10 total slashing. 10 total slashing. Okay. Not quite as impressive as. Still pretty good. I mean, yeah. considering it's a bartender's knife. Okay, so you just stab this saber toothed tiger in the face. Twice. It's not very thrilling. <laughs> okay. Hmm? Next up, Lena. All right. Y'all kitties came to the wrong neighborhood. Uh, I'm going to aim. Well, I'm going to Kobe a fireball right there. Right uh, in the woods. Right in the you woods. That. And that's you going gonna... to. Yeah. Fire. And I'm going to yell, fire! And that's going to hit both of them, but not okay. my friend. Okay. So, yeah. As much as I love cats myself, I just have to burn them. Yeah. Okay. What's uh, the? Uh, they have to make a save. I assume. Dex save, yes. Against fifteen. They both fail miserably. I guess we eating kitty tonight. Uh, already pre-cooked it so they're going to take a couple of damage oh ah, you know what i'm not gonna reroll that that's fine <laughs> 33 points of cougar damage <laughs> the poor cougars um okay 33 wow one of them looks pretty toasty and i'm gonna yell toasty <laughs> and uh <laughs> And hide behind my good friend, Cyber. <laughs> hey, <what the> fuck? <laughs> okay. Okay, so next. Oh, it's the tigers. Well, these guys, this guy. Okay. Uh, it's not letting me select them. Oh, yes, it is. Good. So let's see if we can manage to move him. He's going to move 
Hold a minute, let's get the measuring tape. Okay, so it's gonna uh, come here. Hang on. Hang on. So I think the kitty is a bit off too much. Uh, dun, off dun, more dun. So this guy is basically going to double move, which is going to bring him to yeah. Oh, he's not going to get that attack. <laughs> no effect. Um, this guy charges in on MPC, and it's going to try and claw you. Uh, does a twenty-one hit you, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you're, you're gonna take nine points. Uh, sorry, more than that. Um, seven, uh, twelve points of slashing damage. Is that and can you make me? Hmm? Is that halved or what you rolled? No, that's what I rolled. So you okay. can half that, but you need to take a DC saving throw, strength saving throw, strength, which I know is your forte. Strength Would you say strength is, is your strength? Uh, you fall prone. Oh. oh no! And now it's going to bite you. Wait, wait, wait! I have an advantage on strength when I'm enraging. That's true. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Very useful. Really Fortunately, important. it missed you with its bite. Um, the other one is just going to slash at you, and that's going to hit you as well. So you get ouch, ouch. You take another sixteen points of uh, slashing damage. The other one. <laughs> Are you okay, the NPC? I've been better. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, next up, cleanse. Well, um, I need to get rid of this kitty first. So I'm going to attack the one that is close to me. Okay. The first attack is going to be 18 to hit. That hits. Um, let's see. One, two, three. First attack is going to be 14 point of damage. Ooh. 14 damage, okay. And the second attack. I made a mistake. Uh huh. The cat I attacked has four extra damage. Because I'm raging, what? it's plus two damage. Okay, the one you attacked was that one, okay. The one it's right still there, but it's nearly, okay. Uh -huh. And. And six points of damage. Sorry. Six points of damage, okay. So you mess him up quite. Effectively, he looks pretty upset by that. Um, Bieber, time to run away, I think, mm. or maybe just sing a, a little song about <laughs> pretty cat. Pretty cat. I, want to yeah. uh, I have a bonus action. Okay, Sorry. Yeah. I'm going to cast Shield of Fate into NPC. Okay. Nice. Thank Fate you. is going to give her an extra two points for AC. Nice. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that, that's my end. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay, Biba. Me, I'm just gonna walk a little bit closer over here. So I'm in range, range with this guy. Uh-huh. One right here. I'm gonna shoot it. Which one are you shooting? Uh, this one. Okay. Okay. Nine to hit. <laughs> and nine. It lands in the tree next to it. And uh, as a bonus action, I'm gonna yell an NPC, get out of there quick. They're gonna <laughs> burn. Everything's gonna burn. And it, it's uh, part of the conspiration. You have 26. 
as I have one d6 for anything, or just a save or ability check, attack roll, or saving throw. Okay, thank you. You can use it whenever you want in the next 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. And that's my turn. Okay, Lina. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, lucky for the oh, kids. Sorry, NPC. Sorry. Oh, yeah. MPC. Yeah, it's NPC. NPC. Yeah. NPC. Sorry, Chris. All right. I stab the one in front of me. Looks most hurt, right? Yep. I stab it in the face. Twelve. <laughs> Are you still on the, the ground, though? Ah, uh, you are on the ground, yes. Twelve. Are you staying on the ground and just trying to stab him, or did you stand up? Uh, stab him in the face. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're <laughs> lying down. Just stab him. Yes, it is. All right. In that case, it is a five. Bonus. Eight damage. Oh, and it's dead. It collapses. I stand up. Okay. <laughs> Bonus action. Stab the other one. Okay. Eleven. Miss you. Oh. Of course. <laughs> okay, Lena. You see your um, your barmaid. Friend, she's just like going through the motions with absolutely no soul or or kind of uh, enthusiasm at all uh -huh. for anything in this universe. This is totally unlike her. That hurts um, my soul. Yeah, and it's curiously effective though. It's like she's just an autopilot. It's like <laughs> <laughs> still it's working. Kind of, kind of almost somehow. hypnotic watching her. Yeah, but it's like. She's doing good though. Yeah. She looks hurt. I guess I help him. Help her. <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, lo lucky for the kiddies, I don't have any more third level spell slots, but that kitty, uh, this one on NPC, is going to get a fire bolt. Okay. It's a single target thingy. Um, so that's rolling an attack there. Uh, how much is that? Plus seven. All right. Ooh, Ooh. does a 24 hit? That hits. Okay. Well, Mr. Kitty is going to take eight points of fire damage. Eight points of fire damage. It's still. Okay. And I, I hide behind <laughs> fiber. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> no! <laughs> That's my thing. You can't do that. Okay, cleanse. Uh -huh. uh, I think you forgot the uh, tigers and the initiative. Oh, yeah. the tigers. They I think they, they oh, because I uh, oh that guy I took him out, didn't I? Because I deleted him, so yeah. they went out. Okay, so but, but they were before me. Sorry, sorry. And then yeah, that is my that is my evil and I alignment right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, okay, so this guy attacking NPC misses. This guy attacking friends. Oh, misses again. They both miss. Okay. So then I get the first attack. Of the hit. 12, that hits. Okay, so then Four. I just added you in again. Oops. Oh. oh well, I just, sorry, I'm just. Uh, the, the first attack was 24 damage. Uh, the second is 19 to hit, I suppose it hits. And damage is 6, so it's a total of 10 damage. You did 10 damage on this yeah. guy. Okay, he's still there. Mm. Still and that's snapping it. Still snapping at you. And uh, next up, we have Fever. These cats I'm are looking gonna, pretty beat up. Gonna run next to this one right here, take out the bag and put it open in front of his face. And see what happens. <laughs> so you're gonna put the, the, the bag in front of the cat's face, okay? Yeah. Put the cat in the bag. <laughs> put the cat in the bag. 
You went to do it before. That's already done. Yeah. Okay. Just put it on his. Unfortunately for you, it's just kind of fixated on MPC and doesn't seem to take any notice of the bag. I can, I can jump in front of his face like, ah. Hey, did you try to suck its soul out? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you tried to put the cat in the bag. That is brilliant. Um, well, then, Siva, can you make me a performance check? Oh, yeah. Seven. <laughs> you just kind of fall over pathetically. <laughs> it's like, yeah. oh, it's a bag. It's a bag. And you trip over and land on your ass in the middle of the forest. <laughs> Why can't I seem to put any bag, <laughs> any cut in any bag? Oops, sorry. Okay. So, MPC, you, there's a halfling flailing around on the on the forest floor beside you, waving the bag that has your soul in it. Okay. Pussy, pussy, get in the bag. Looking cute, looking cute. What are you gonna do? MPC. Oh, the cat didn't attack me. The, the cat has attacked you. No, no, yes. no. Fever was trying to distract the cat and get it sucked into the bag. Oh, okay. Look at the top of initiative, so it's your turn. I uh, can I see my soul? No, you can't see your soul. I stab with the cat. You're you're kind of faced off with the cat. That hits. I stab it again, maybe. Let me check first. Six damage. Okay, it's still there. I stab it again. Bonus action. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. No, I missed. Oh. You missed. Okay, yeah. let's go there. And like you want to just That's unfortunate. <laughs> I disengage. Okay. Good luck. You know, in Japan, bird. you always have to eat the meat so first. Apparently, it's good manners to always go for the meat center. Yummy, yummy. Okay. Um, so, next up, Lena. Uh, you ran away from the cat, NPC? No, I backed up. Ah. I Did will go get, back it, in next would turn. It, would it get an opportunity? At that I action? disengage, or it's disengage in action. Oh, okay. I was distracted. Disengage is movement or action? action. action. I think it's an oh, action. Oh, no, I don't have action. I, I'm there then. Hmm? Never mind. That. I'm there. Okay. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Well, mm. I'll try to place this pussy cat in front of um, clans. So I run over there and uh, show the cat my two open palms and cast burning hands. Ooh. Nasty. Uh, yep. Come here, pussycat. Come here, pussycat. Yeah. Um, so, deck saving throw again, please. Fifteen. It rolled a massive one. Oh, okay. Well, that's a hot pussy then. Mm -hmm. uh, let me reroll that because that was terrible. I burned one sorcery point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Uh, Eleven. Mm. Okay. Um, That's it. Prove me. I'm becoming some Georgia. Um, it's still there. Damn it. Hanging on by a thread. Oh, and it's the cat's turn. So this one. Ouch! Somebody just burned it. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna. Uh, is it gonna go for you, or is it gonna keep attacking? Oh, I have, I have the sentinel feature. If this one is going to disengage for me and attack Lina, I have an opportunity attack. That's true. Well, unfortunately, I rolled a no when I was rolling to see if it was going to attack Lina. So it's just going to attack you. Okay. <laughs> and it gets a uh, 18. Does 18 hit? Yeah, it's my DC. My AC. Okay. I have a sentinel feet as well. No, I don't. <laughs> Everybody's a sentinel. Everybody has sentinel. It, it doesn't work if both of us have the sentinel. Yeah, feet. I know. Yeah, that sucks with sentinel. If two people have it, then it doesn't work. Yeah. 
you take 12 points of smashing damage. Well, um, okay. okay, now let's see if this cat's going to bite fever. Oh, yes. And fever, I said you'd fallen over, so it's going to jump on you and try and bite you. Uh, um, yep. Wait, what? Wait, did he get the first attack on me? It's just about to, it's just attacked you, yes. Oh, okay. Because I have the second chance fit, so if it, the first attack hits, I can ask you to reroll it as a reaction. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. It well, it got yeah. a 25, so I assume that hits. Yeah, can you reroll that, please? Yes, I can. And it gets a uh, 13. And that misses. Okay. Phew. So that's the tiger. And we are up to uh, okay. So I get the good little kitty, 19 to hit. Okay. First attack is going to be 6. Okay. I attack again. It's 20 to hit. And the damage is going to be 13, so a that total hit. of 21 of damage. 21? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's is it dead. Still, is it still alive? Nope. Okay. It's dead. For kids. Okay, and uh, Eva. Mm. Now I'm getting angry at him. I don't know if getting his soul is enough punishment. Uh, it was already hard. Wait, he's looking at me. Yeah. It's kind of, yeah, standing over you because you fell over when you made your next attempt at performance. I'm oh, gonna... Carol Baskin. <laughs> I'm going to stand up and attempt to show him the bag again. <laughs> God damn it, looking Just here. put it on its, on, on its head. Yeah. Put the bag I on a cat's to... head. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, if you're going to try and put it on its head, that's just going to be uh, an attack roll with an improvised weapon. So mm. if you, you'd roll it with uh, just a dexterity bonus. Okay, that's it. That's a 20. Mm. Not natural. Okay. You put the bag on the cat's head. When you hear that horrible, like, screaming, wailing sound, it's accompanied by a, like, a, a kind of plaintive. Yeah! I'm just putting up with his head and I'm like, shh, yeah, let it go. Let it go. Shh, shh. So are you leaving the bag on its head or are you taking the bag off again? I would just finish waiting for the screams to finish and then, like, picking it out without looking at it. Like, are you going to try and extract the bag from its head? Yeah, hmm. okay. that's going to be another action, I think, because this is a pretty angry cat. Well, then so you're going to have to wait till next turn, turn to do that. You're going to have to yeah. wait till next turn to do that. So, MCC. I take the bag off. <laughs> <laughs> I think Fever's still holding the bag. Oh, then I stab the cat. You can take me with the bag, I'm not heavy. <laughs> oh, okay, I take Fieber off. Okay, so how are That's... you going to do that? This is kind of like, again, I think this is dexterity. You've got this mad, angry saber tooth tiger with a bag on its head. Yep. Half of you. He probably so... has no soul anymore, so. so I, I think dexterity the... to try and grab the bag. Okay. I thought I clicked roll. 17. Grab the bag. And pull. And pull. Okay. So let's have strength from you. Oh, that's not good. Is that your roll? 16? It looks like. Okay. So you, you just pull the bag off the cat's head. You're Kitty. holding the bag with, with so you and the half of it just both holding this bag in the middle of the forest in front of like, the tiger. Is it, does it have a soul anymore? You can't know, it's just, but it's similar to you. 
it's a dog just turned into a junior high school saber tooth tiger. Hmm. A free action. Uh-huh. I'm going to try to malaise the kitty into submission. Just let oh. it let it lose interest in the fight as much as I have. It's pretty non-committal. So I, yeah. I can fry. I'm a, maybe I won't. Maybe I will. What maybe I will too. Oh well, these are the ways. You guys are best friends now. <laughs> yeah, you have a soulmate. Yeah, a soulmate. <laughs> You have your spirit animal right there. Okay, Lina. Uh, I think Clan's got this. So Lina's just going to disengage. And... Well, that one's dead. Uh, that one's really dead. Oh, never mind. Well, I just watched the show from here. Mm-hmm. You're just going to watch it? Yeah. Okay. Well, the. Uh... The soulless pity takes a soulless claw attempt at soulless MPC and misses. Like, uh, nah, Have nah, to try harder, nah, nah. Yeah, whatever. Hmm. Okay. Cleanse. I also get here. I study. Yeah. But, like, if they. The cat is not going to really attack us. I won't attack. I'm just like take a more like a defensive position. Like if the cat is going to attack someone, like I hold my action. Yeah. So you're holding your action. Mm-hmm. You're, you're, you're I don't want much. to attack if the kitty doesn't want to attack us. Okay, Dima. I say cool. It has no soul, and I stab it with my rapier. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not hitch. Uh, what's that? 20. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's a unique attack, I guess, because everybody is around it. Yeah. And it's uh, totally bored. Not paying attention. Are you watching a video in there? Hmm? That's a total of. 17 points of damage. And it's dead. Yay. Ah, oh. oh, I went to. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. Where is Nyx? Uh, where is Nyx when we need her? We need the druid. <laughs> I know. The, the druids are very practical. Yeah. So I'm, then just gonna, so. I'm gonna take out a knife and I say, I need a tiger mask. Oh, okay. Stop. Okay, do it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Okay. Look around. Any other kitties trying to ruin all day? No, no, that's far as you can see. Okay, cool. Okay, okay so let's let's regroup here. Now we have a problem. What? We need to get the soul back. Well, why don't we try? Let me de- demonstrate this with a bag. So bag, right? And we uh-huh. just do. Oh, we can try that. You know what happens? What What are you doing? Um, like. Like, like turning the back to the other side. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm gonna I'm give gonna you the bag and I'm gonna negativity. start making another uh, mask out, out of the tiger over here. So <laughs> you guys have fun. Yeah, let's try I still to. Still don't get it. what you're doing with bag. What you're trying to do? No, we we're basically turning the bag inside out. I need to take what? a rest. I'm just going to rest here <laughs> on the tiger. You're, you're turning you, the bag you have inside out? Yeah, basically trying to empty the bag, right? Oh. Well, roll me a wisdom snake. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Did you open the bag? I mean, yeah. No, he's not really like, opening the bag. Like, you, you see, can do if it, you're it, turn it inside out, you're going to open it. That's opening like, I mean, yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. It. Okay, wisdom saying for her. Uh, all right, let's do this. We're all gonna be soulless by the end. Uh... It's fine. <laughs> Zero. Yeah. Oh, nine. 
I think I failed. Yeah, I think you failed too. <laughs> Roll me okay. a constitution save. Oh, that's my forte as a sorcerer. Can't save, huh? Oh, you were sorcerer. Yeah, I was sorcerer. Okay, well, I'm going to give you. I was going to say this. Oh, you got a 21 anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was going to give you advantage there because you're a sorcerer. Ah, okay. Because this is right up your street. It's kind of nasty magic. Yeah. So, what happens? I failed my wisdom, but apparently I'm. So, you felt your soul being sucked from you, but. Yeah. You managed to resist it, and somehow your soul managed to hang on and stay in your body. Ah. Um, you kind of shut the bag yeah. with, like, um, this is just a, an involuntary reaction. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so... while you were being sucked, uh -huh. you, could, you could see, like, that there were several souls. <gasps> Do I recognize NPC's soul? It was the soul of the tiger there? Or, yeah. yeah. There and there was also... There wasn't the you eye? Could see, <laughs> you could see there were souls in there that looked like mind players. <sighs> okay. So I guess nothing happens if I try to turn the bag inside out. Well, that's what just happened when you tried to turn the bag inside out. You can try and do it again. Ah, fuck no. All right. minute, I'm just going to go and grab a drink. Huh. Uh, I think you guys can take a short rest now. Woohoo. Okay. Finally. Okay, can we detail. make NPC try to turn the bag inside out? That way, he really doesn't have a soul. Yeah. Let's just rest and put on this tiger mask I just found out in the woods. Who wants one? You're a sick person. Yeah. <laughs> if they make people, I have to do that. I'm wearing one, by the way, so it's still not, bloody. Come on. Yeah, I'm not the one to judge, though. <laughs> Jesus, what terrible rolls. That's four hit dice. I'll be right back then. Did you get it working? Water rule. Okay. Mm. Full. Okay. Yeah, full. Uh, mm. And the paper, please. I have the soul of a tiger. <laughs> I don't know why it's not playing through the headphones. I'll have to look at it. Sorry. That rice cooker is different from yours. The water level looks different. All right, I'm back. Mm -hmm. John here? No, he is still uh, grabbing the drink. You want um, a tiger mask? No, but I won't resist if you stick one on me. <laughs> I'm going to go close and put the tiger mask on you. Where are the tiger bandits now? I'm not a bandit. Where are the tiger gang now? No. Uh, so. <laughs> Not really. Well, Probably. how about you try um, try doing what I just did? Uh -huh. Try to turn the bag inside out and see if you can see your soul. And if you see it, just grab it. And I give you the bag. I'm back, guys. Maybe. Try it. <laughs> the bag. We're wearing tiger mask now. We're the tiger gang. No. You guys are. You know what? 
Me and NPC. <sighs> so NPC, can you try turning this back inside By out? By the way, guys, this is nice for you. It's so serious. And cool. Stuff. It's a portrait? Stuff. Yeah. This is yummy, yummy beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anchor. Yeah. You can get anchor in the uh, off white thing. Yeah, and the coedo is really face. nice as well, but this stuff is... Mmm! This one's also pretty good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, that was the past. <laughs> I have water. Do you want water? Uh, you got the center. That's nice. Wow. That stuff. That center yeah. is good. Almost tastes like beer. It's like Budweiser, but if Budweiser was good. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Lucky man, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So. So oh. you've got three, three faceless saber tooth tigers. Can I also take a tooth? Oh, saber tooth, huh? Okay. Yeah, they got big, 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 big fangs. I'll take them out and maybe one tail. <laughs> okay. Hard or it, if it's long enough, I'm gonna tie it around my waist and wear it like a belt. That's going to root. That's going to what? It's probably gonna smell in a little bit. Yeah, like jungle I'm, I'm not saying I'm not smelly already. Yes, you are. So anyway, you, you you've had your short rest, and during your short rest, what, what did you after, decide? To... After the, the short rest, we we're trying to make NPC to turn the bag inside out. <laughs> this can only end well, but no, I yes. don't really have the wherewithal to resist. Yeah. So we we show her how to do it. Like you just need to. Oh, and it. by the way, by the way, Thiba, as you come back from the short rest, you you feel like your old self again. That nasty curse has worn oh. off. I oh, think. Do I feel like myself? No, I kind of don't want to wear the mask anymore. I'm just gonna get. <laughs> uh, You're like, oh, what? Ooh, what? Uh, I wonder if I can get my soul out of the bag. You can Put try. it in one of NPC's pockets. Like, uh, well, try. Hey, if you see your your soul, uh, just grab it. Uh -huh. I've seen a couple of souls in there. Just grab one. I guess I should try. Lena says it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? I guess I'm going to try to get my soul out of the bag. How are you going to do that? How Lena told me. How did Lena tell you to well, do it? Turn the bag inside out and uh, bag inside out watch and, uh, for your soul. soul. Lena, as, as a sorcerer, can you roll an intelligence check? As a sorcerer? <laughs> yeah, as a sorcerer who's kind of, you know, got a, a feeling for arcane magic. Yeah. Just roll me an, an intelligence check. Yeah, but it's innate. I, I'm basically... I know. Yeah, I'm a that's... high elf. I know yeah. some arcana. I don't, don't know what I I'm doing. I will also roll. <laughs> yeah, that's... But you have a feel for this kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, you want Arcana? Yeah. That might be a bit better. Uh, well, no, no, no. Just your intelligence, okay. actually, because it's just a suggestion you're okay. making. And you're like, yeah, this is a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> like, inverting a bag full of anguished souls in the middle of the forest. Yeah. yeah. What could possibly go wrong I with mean, that? I mean, I really tried it. Nothing bad happened. <laughs> Do you want it? Like, That's how you but, get it. On the other hand, NPC, <laughs> although she has no soul, she still does have her intelligence, and she sort of goes, where are all the souls going to go if they come out of the bag? Where are all the souls going to go if they come out of the bag? <laughs> well, one uh... of them is going to go into you because that's your soul, right? Soul finds Will it be my bag. soul? What if we take another bag and then... <laughs> The soul is going to the other bag, and you just take one, probably yours. For that, we will need another bag of soul holding. That means have... more lawyers. I oppose this plan. Oh, wait. Wait, guys. Re you remember what um, Marlo was trying to do? He was doing like soul transfer crap, yes, right? Was. If we steal Marlo's soul. Yeah, maybe, maybe we need Marlo's help with this. Hmm. Okay, I feel we have three options right now. We 
we can go to Marlow. That is kind of shady, and I'm not sure if you you really will help us. Mm. We can go to this guy that looks like Marlow, but a little younger, <laughs> because he was interested in the bag. Mm. Or we can go and try to find Karcher and try to get all the information from him. If I could say something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the guy at the fortress was a huge dick. He wanted this to happen. I think so. I think it was a trap. It was a, yeah, it was a trap. He smelled fishy. Like a dick. Yes, because he was a fish. This is humorous. <laughs> but the thing is, even if he was a trap, he knew it was going to happen. So he should have some knowledge about this. So are you suggesting we take over that uh, passing and then we put the soul and we steal every the, the bag and we steal everybody's soul if they don't help us? I'm going like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That maybe. I don't want to really trap them. But if they don't want to help, we can try to find any negotiation. Maybe they we're want the, something to. We're the soul stealer gang. I can see it now. Yeah. Uh, why are you so more evil now? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should find someone who can help us before we confront Marlo, but not go to the evil fish guy. Do we know anybody else? Filter? Not Filter, the, the illithid piece of sashimi waiting to be cut open. I used to want to do that. Marlo? He doesn't want anymore. Marlo is also evil, but he didn't steal my soul. He just tried. tried. Yeah, but he didn't. Yeah. They're both evil. We should kill them both. But we actually have your soul right here, and nobody's told your soul. We just don't know how to get it back. What if we had a long spoon? <gasps> what if we had a long spoon? I have a long tiger's tooth, kind of like, try to get it out. It's not long enough. I have several. I think we, we need specialized equipment. We find a good cleric or priest. Yeah, we need some not, somebody professional. Not evil illithids from the Underdark to help us. Well, I'm a paladin. Do I know like someone who can help? Um, can you do me a history check? I mean, your god probably can help you, right? Yeah. yeah this paladin, 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 paladin. Paladin. do the remove curse at fifth level. Yeah, history or religion. Talk to Lavender and ask him about this. You always talk about this Lavender guy. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, Glenn says that. <laughs> you know, I kind of skipped that class. You know, the one about <laughs> souls and <laughs> soul stealing and, uh, and things like that. I didn't thought, like, I didn't think it was going to be useful, really. But, uh... How about, um, Lena, how about uh, you do me another sort of arcana check? Me? Yeah. Oh, boy. This time arcana. Okay. If, um, before you do it, I'm going to say, come on, Lena, you have to do something. We have to do something about this. Yes. You're smart, I, right? I, and yeah. you get the bardic inspiration. I feel inspired. I'm going to roll that. Oh, well, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to roll it. <laughs> you wanna... Do it, Max. Who? So you got twenty nine, yeah? Sure. Like this sort of word pops into mm. your head, and it goes lich, liches and souls. Liches, liches, souls and mind flayers. Not a great mix. Oh. Please don't give my soul to a lich. How would you feel about it? Not very enthusiastic. But... <laughs> I would feel bad. Worse than that? Like, Lena, it, you kind of remember that there is a type of mind flayer that aspires to lichery. That's what? There's a type of mind flayer that 
particular that you've heard there's a type of mind flayer that aspires to becoming a lich they can't become liches but they can become oh. a type of lich oh crap that gray thing was a lich uh what do you call it like illithi liches or something oh. like illithid illithi lich I usually call them Esquire, but that's me. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, okay so Marlo wants to become a lich, huh? Mm, sounds like that. That's bad. This thing, like, flashes into your head about become a lich. Okay. Uh, NPC, how would you like to become a lich? <laughs> Not on my schedule, but I don't really care anymore. Ah, okay. Ooh, well, we can win at this game. Please well, don't. Well, I care, but no. Oops. What? What? What would you like to do? Where do you I want my soul back. CV. Arman Lich. Okay, you want your soul back. Got it. Um. I think we can strike a deal with Marlo. Mm-hmm. You know, you give NPC her soul back and we give him the bag. He wanted my soul. He won't give it back. Ah. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think ah. he's going to give it. You're completely yeah, and now right. we have it in the bag already. So it's like, oh, just give me the bag and see it. And then yeah, just go up with the remains. And... Well, let's go yeah. back to the other guy then. Are, are we not following Filcher anymore? Oh, Filcher, yeah. Okay. Let's follow Filcher and try to get more information because okay. I'm pretty sure that the guy in the in the bridge was also evil. Okay, okay. I trust yeah, we, your... We have Filcher's yeah. contract, so we might be able to get him to help us some way. Okay. Let's go on the road again. Yep, on the road again. Okay. Come on, we're going to okay. get your soul back. Ooh. It's right here. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna get your soul into you. Like into you. We know where is your soul, but <laughs> yeah, you find it. that's great. You're on the road, right there, where fever is. If we put alcohol in the bag and then pour it out, then I could drink the spirits. We will need to open it. So. Yeah, that's right. All you need is some alcohol. Okay, just a minute, please. Oops. I think we're in the uh, in the wrong again. Okay. So we have to put ourselves on this new map. There we yeah, go. Yeah, down the bottom there, please. I see in the corner. It is much snappier in Chrome on a Windows box than it was with Linux. Okay. I wonder if it's the hardware or the software. Okay, so you're at the bottom of the road, and up ahead you can see you can see along the this dirt track, the cart tracks going up along the road. You recognise this that you're getting close to those little mountains where those little hills where Marlow's cave was. And can we see them at the distance, or is it just? No, as yet, no, you can't. So just forget that there's a, <laughs> a very <laughs> obvious. <laughs> there's a little part. Um, the scale, I don't think I, I haven't done the scale correctly here. Sorry, I'm going to have to change the scale. Okay. Um, oh, they are in fireball distance. <laughs> uh, no, they're not. They won't be. They won't be in five seconds when I change the scale of this map. So this is more like. Let's see how far oh, that's down. Uh, okay. 
Well, that's still not far enough. Sorry, hold on a minute. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, it should even be more than that, but let's just stand this for now, otherwise life is going to get too difficult. Okay, so you're, you're on the road and you're, as you proceed up the road, following the cart tracks, you see they go off to the side in these little trees and there's the cart and uh, that assistant of Marla's standing by the cart waiting in the trees. Marla? Uh -uh. No, His assistant. Ah, no. <laughs> the very you remember the inept Marlowe's henchman uh -huh. guys. Has he seen us? Do we know? Um strangely enough he has seen you, yes, and he's sort of watching you come up the road with a, a look of you might say uh apprehension. So I wave to him. Hey, I know you. What you want? Okay, you're getting close to him, and just a minute, please. Eat, eat, eat. Okay, so you get up close to him. He looks a little bit perturbed. You can see that the, the back of the cart is open and it's full of all those cases you saw in Marlowe's basement. But no sign of filcher. Who's the guy with the sandwich board? That's that Marlowe's assistant you met him before in the cave. Uh -huh. well, was that the one who sicked the mummy on us? Um, no, 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 in the cave, not in the. Oh, the yeah, 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 yeah. They, yeah. they were women. These are the inept, the inept assistants that couldn't work the portal properly. Where's Fishy? I think she means where's Filcher? Uh, he's gone to see the boss. Who's the boss? Arnold? Of course, he's the boss. Wait. Is Felcher working with Marla? Uh, uh, depends what you mean by working with. I think working for is a more accurate. What I mean is, is he on the side of Marla? Do they have I, I, similar goals? I think he's usually groveling around on the floor in front of Marla. Uh, um, let me try something. Uh -huh. I'm going to stagger over to the guy mm -hmm. and get real close to him. Mm -hmm. Like... I need you to tell me why you're working for Marlo. Uh, I, hmm? Hold on, uh, let me click that again. Uh, you know you want to tell me everything. <laughs> persuasion. <laughs> That's kind of weird persuasion he's got. It's like he's, this guy's got some freaky porn fetish thing coming then, hasn't he? Like disembodied woman with no soul. <laughs> oh dear me! He's like, well, because he's he's just so great. Don't you want to help us instead? No. I tried. Let's kill him. Oh right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to 
Okay. I guess we're all finished with that. I'm going to cast a son of truth. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. So he needs to make a charisma saving throw. Uh, what's the save? 14. Okay, he fails. As okay. do I. Um, yes. Yeah, I guess yes, we do. Everyone inside the zone needs to make a yeah. charisma. Yeah. Anyone. But I know I know who fails and who succeeds. So yeah, you do. Yeah, it succeeded. Oh, I might be fine. <laughs> oh yeah. wow, what? Yeah, I'm a sorcerer. Okay, so I tell him. Tell us what is Marlo's goal? What is he trying to do? Marlo? Well, I don't really understand it. He just told us to bring all the uh, the gear here for the ritual. What ritual? The ritual. For what? I don't know. He's the boss. Well, what so kind of thing? Become your boss. Pardon? What we should destroy his gear. I, I said, like, how did he become? The bus, his bus. Well, because, like, you know, when there was, and uh, he's going to tell you, as you all know, there's been this period when everyone's been really anti magic. So Marlo was the only guy that kept on, held the faith for magic. And so these guys gravitated towards Marlo and were just working for him as, you know, trying to resist the anti magic cult. And that's why he's the boss, because he was the only one that stood up for us during those terrible times. I heard legend of some other heroes who stood up against the Anti-Magic League. Yeah. The ones that burned the hotel down, you mean, and the ones that went off and and uh, and killed the uh, killed the, the sorcery. Yeah, they yeah. were cool guys. Yeah, yeah, they're cool. Yeah, shame those heroes aren't around now. <laughs> I think some them. of them died. <laughs> well, that was a particular dragon lady. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, also but since then, you know, Marlo, he's been getting, he's a bit, you know, he's not been himself. It's not, you know, it seems to have taken a lot out of him, all that, you know, all the stress and all that. And he's kept complaining, saying he wasn't feeling as, wasn't feeling as, uh, as, 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 as lively as he had. You know, his it. ritual is evil. Um, it depends what you mean by evil. You know, I mean, extending is his. Huh? Is the ritual going to hurt other people? Is it going to hurt people? Uh -huh. Um, I don't know. I mean, are they important? Everyone is important. No, they're not. Are you important? Are you important? Uh, not really, no. I'm just an uh, average henchman. As long as you know it. You are important, too. No, I'm not. I'm just See, he agrees. And Marlo's going to go on smash all this ritual equipment. Well, the point here is the ritual is going to hurt people, even if you think those people are not important. No, they're gonna. They're, it's the great, the good Marlo. He extends. He goes on longer. Maybe his brain has been eaten by the illithid. What is Marlo's weakness? <laughs> What's Marlo's weakness? Uh -huh. um, his weakness is that he's running out of time. He needs to have a soul. We steal this stuff, we head down to another city, and he will just run out of time, die, and happily. That's a plan. Mm. And we can find a priest. Yeah. You want to get married? Yes, I want to get married. <laughs> that works in the zone of truth because it's sarcasm. <laughs> 
<laughs> the guy is like, but you're going to be married to Marlo. Lucky you, you're going to be in Marlo. Hmm. You're so I lucky. I want to hit him. I wanted to be in Marlo. I said I'd give up my soul, but he said I'm just a puny human. He wants an elf soul. Mm -hmm. Would you say longer. you were charmed by Marlo? Huh? Would you say you were charmed by Marlo? Um, not in the magical sense. Just he's just so great. How do you know? Well, because because your brain has probably been totally scrambled by his psionic powers. Oh. Probably, yeah. That means he's great. <laughs> What if we what, what if we show him the bag? What's in her bag? Are you gonna show this guy the bag? Well, before before we do that, what do you have here for the ritual? What is in the parish? Oh, uh, just the usual stuff, black like candles. You know, I don't think they really need it. It's just for show. But he's got the important uh, he's got the important thing there already. You know, what all he important? needs now is the soul. Well, obviously, the thing to put the soul in. The body? Uh, no. Put the lich keeps the soul in. The phylactery? Yeah. It's very knowledgeable. Yeah, I didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how to put a soul in a body? No. Okay. okay. You know, like, when the... Mummy and the daddy love each other very much. <laughs> oh, I know about that. Yeah, that is a new soul after he's purified by lavender, of course. What has lavender to do with it? Lavender. Lavender is a stork that brings the babies, right? In a way. Yeah. Yeah. What's he named after a flower? It's... <laughs> Maybe the flower was named after him. Maybe. Yeah, is he the god of flowers? Some. Some flowers. We, we got distracted. Anything else you want to ask to this guy? Anything else you want to ask? Any last I words before it. you die? He <laughs> said, what? You knew what this was about. Has anyone got a uh, oh, well, minute? Sorry, just a minute. Um, uh, stop. Hang on. Oh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Two seconds, please. Oh, I don't like that sound. Let's <laughs> bring down the dragon down. mini. Has anyone got a, a passive perception mini. over 14? Of course, nope. I have just 14. You got 14. I have 11. Nope. We I are not the wise. I'm concentrating yep. on the sound of truth. So. Everybody's super charismatic in this group for some reason. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I think so. Everybody has high charisma. Yeah, I have very high charisma. <laughs> <laughs> We're the fan gang. Yeah. This is not the wise group. This is the good looking group. Okay, well, Sabi, you, you notice that, like, Filcher, like, sort of walking towards you from the uh, from the hills, and then he sees you guys, and he sort of very ineptly tries to hide. I'm just going to scream at him. Hey, Filcher, come over here. I see Wait. you attempting to hide. You have afraid. your contract. You see him just running away back to the cave. Yeah. Which you, don't, you know is there, because you've been there before, but you can't actually see it from where you are, but you just sort of see him, like, running off. We shouldn't go in that cave. I think that cave is going to be a problem for us, but we need to stop them. But it's more dangerous to us to do anything. We should just go. Where? North. There's a road. Happy the trails. The filter and Marlow and the whole shebang. But I, I, they might have the key to getting your soul back. Are you not interested in that? I don't trust their help. Oh, wait, I should be next to this guy. Then whose help? 
Shall we get you? Uh, priest of Lothander. Who trained you, Cleanse? Huh? Who trained you, the priest of Lavender? Yes. Or was it like uh, any other floral aroma? <laughs> it's not lavender, it's Lothander. Lavender, I think I prefer I, I lavender. I used to play making fun of her. Years ago, uh, someone told me lavender uh, is good uh, for uh, stress. Um, like uh, thinking about where this, this town is, how far away is the closest lavender church? The town, the town, the closest. Or temple. Wow, now you are asking. <laughs> Just a minute, I'm going to have to look on my big map now. Um, whoa, find somewhere that's got a church of the thunder. Oh, wow. I think maybe over in Kenham. Maybe in Kenham there might be a priest or two. How far away is that? Um, not actually that far. Um, let's see. Uh, still in there. Let's get you on there. It's fine. We have a cart and a horse, right? Yeah. No. We actually have a, a means of transportation. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, where you are. Uh, oh, it's not that far. You're right. It's about maybe about fifty miles away. So, so like one day. In, <laughs> in normal measures. It's about 50 miles away. That's uh, 80 kilometers. <laughs> oh, is that what you mean by yeah, normal measures? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I yeah, forget. Yeah. Yeah. No, um, no, American measures. Okay. That's not American, it's British. <laughs> <laughs> it's my old system, so it's uh, British. They're and, and, and you know, they're all based on, basically, it started out with like you know human body parts like you know yeah, like the, yeah the roman mile was supposed to be one hour's march or oh, one hour's wow. march or no no it's like not one hour one thousand paces oh, yeah. right um, one thousand so it, the, the original mile was more like the kilometer but it just wasn't standardized oh. and then the foot five feet to a pace became three feet to a yard and mm -hmm. then it got weird yeah yeah <laughs> So how much okay. is a yard? Three feet. Three, Three feet. feet. Okay. It's like a but across across the Roman yard is shorter. shorter. Yeah, and there's a clothier's yard, which I think is slightly different. And then in Japan, you have the shaku and the uh, sun. The shaku uh, and the sun. Oh, yeah. uh, which are about this, the shaku is like, I think, 10 sun. Um, the, the, the shaku is almost half of a shakuhachi. Little bit more because it's yeah, because one it's shaku, shaku and then hachi, yeah, hasun, it's e shaku hasun. <laughs> but actually, uh, shaka hachi is um, can be in any length from e shaku, it looks something like you can get me shaku hasun. I've got one up in my book, which is me shaku hasun, which is really long and almost impossible to play. But you. most of them are e shaku hasun, which is like oh, I've got one, <laughs> but anyway, okay. Now we're talking so, about measurements. So getting back to D and D. So it's around eighty kilometers. I tell them that. <laughs> I tell them I know a priest in this town. Well, you know that there might be a priest over there. I, I about. think he, he, there's probably one in there. You we were over, when you were down in Pelham. You know there was there was like a there was a guild hall and there were like all kinds of people. But and there might have even been priests in Pelham, but. They weren't very reputable priests. They were more like, you know, priests on their day off. Mm. Like, <laughs> you know, and yeah, as far as you know, Kenham, Kenham is probably the closest you're going to get to some kind of, um, you know, actual practicing priest with some kind of religious inclination. Okay. Also, I yeah. think we really need to have, like, someone in our side in this situation. I feel like everyone around in this town is evil. We need someone good in our side. 
Yeah. So we take this cart, we get out, we find somebody good, and then we come back and burn the town. We, we burn the bad people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you say the that town, you very valid an answer. We burn the town, and then, yeah, we cleanse it. Cleanse. Hey, we, we... Cleanse by fire. <laughs> cleanse. Okay. I, I like the combination. I think it's a good plan. So That's why we, we are a team. What do we do with this guy here? Mm, he knows our plan now. Yeah, yeah, you're coming with us. Yep. Do you want to take a trip, little guy? Oh, he's in the, he's in the zone of truth still, isn't he? You'll be yeah. doing that. Strange enough, if he says, like, yeah, now you come to mention it. All right. Well, let's go. Yeah. Come with us if you want to live. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope okay, you can drive. Take... Sorry about the NPC. She gets very emotional. So we take the horse and the so, car. Well, we, we can take Marlo's shit, put it on the ground, burn it on yeah. fire. Yeah, we don't really need the money for right? people. If you're gonna look in the car, you see it's full of like things like you know, um, like you know, black um, like tablecloths with like pentagrams on it and lots of arcane looking writing and fire, uh, you fire. know, and anything like <laughs> candles, hands and, and black Elements candles. And anything before we burn it? Um, it depends. Fire. On... Yeah, you can sell it if you if you could find someone who was like into all the occult paraphernalia thing, it might be worth might be worth selling. Yeah, I'm kind of like in the burning mood right now. Yeah. We have a human torch called Lena. So, Lena, could you please set fire to this? I mean, we put everything the on the floor. <laughs> no, <not> the <laughs> yeah. We take everything from the cart. All right. Mm -hmm. I cast fire. Cast mm -hmm. fire. I cast fire at level nine. <laughs> so you just this to Marlo. We can put it like by the entrance uh, around here. Uh -huh. Yeah. A of trees and burn it all in the middle, like real well. Yeah. And let's right send a message to Marlo. Uh, uh, we're after you, Marlo. Yeah, I'm going to burn in the ground, like. We know what you do in racing mm. languages that you know, like common or something. Yeah, and we can just write we know. Yeah, we oh, yeah, that, that, that's much better. We know, that's it. We know, that's creepy. Although, is there still a zone of truth? Uh, uh, I don't know how long does the zone of truth take. Minutes. Minutes. I don't know if we have a few minutes left. There's many elves in the world. He'll probably find another elf. That's right. That's why I, I want to go back. But I know I feel like right now we don't have a chance against him. Mm. He needs he needs the bag to get the soul, and we have the bag. Yeah, and we can prevent we, that. Yeah, and by so we can just come back later and uh, deal with him uh, after we get your soul back. That's a good idea. And he's running out of time, and we just stalled him by loads. So, yeah, yeah. let's hit the road then. But before the Zone of Truth is over, what, what is the name of the Marlo's assistant? The guy who's going to be traveling with us? The name of Marlo's assistant. Oh, goodness me, I forgot. I called this guy. I did give him a name. Uh, and I also no, ask I him if he's going to backstab us. Yeah. Uh, he says. Probably. <laughs> At least he's honest. I, I don't think it's a good, good idea for this guy to come with us. Uh, Marlo um, has some tricks that he can use to spy on us. And if this guy is with us, maybe it's going to make it easier. Right, yeah, if well. he can spy on him, he can spy on us the same way. What, what makes this guy so special? Ooh. I'm going to ask a guy who doesn't have a name. Uh, uh, he's got one do, you have, do you have a means of communication with Marlo? His name is Mr. Probably. <laughs> um, his name is Nile. Nile. Spelt 
Um, oops, hold on a minute. Let's get him again. Mr. Mayo. Nail like a hammer. Nail. I'll show you in a minute. A oh, nail. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Nail. Okay. Where, where did you see? Where did you write it? In I wrote it underneath. No? No, I wrote it. Sorry, I wrote oh. it on the, I gave him a name plate, but I'll, I'll put it in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Nail, Nail, Nail. 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 So Nail. 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 Do you have a Nail. communication? Nail. Uh, no. I don't. Good does he have? Yes. He, may. he does. So what about the beautiful corpse next to the window? It will the send a message. Yeah, well, I Clance, can't... would you mind doing the honors? Before I do that, can I feel evil coming from this guy? If I need to use a spell for that, I can use it. I have to uh, yeah. huh? Just ask him if he's evil. He'll tell you the truth. Yeah. Uh, that, that depends on his perception, but okay, are you evil? Um, I'm certainly not good. Okay, but you think you think divine sense? Can I know if he's evil? Um, he's kind of evil. Okay, so I take my ex. <laughs> okay. Let, let you reborn into something good next time. Uh, that's nice. And I attack, I attack him. You, attack him. you get the uh, inspiration for me. Thank you. So you're just gonna roll an attack roll on this poor random guy, okay? Have we just 20. named him and you're killing him already? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, roll your ouch, you just lock his evil. Uh, Should what? I help? Is he dead already? I have another attack. No, he's he's not evil anymore. <laughs> so I, I just make a small like a prey to Latander while these guys they're like end preparing the cart. I guess. So you like you're distracted uh praying, I'm gonna go to the guy's pockets. Uh -huh. I mean I pray in the body, you know. Like I, I'm preparing him for the burial and I'm putting like the body in the proper position, but it's still uh -huh. like <laughs> Okay, so you will need to make a slide of hand against me. Okay, well, you find he has one gold piece, uh, seven silver pieces. Do okay, those so. disappear automatically too, or are we done with the lawyers? Oh, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> oh. It's a sucking sound. God damn it. <laughs> Hey, he a little stole receipt. My a little receipt floats down. And says, "Boy, you guys have still got a way to go." You need to hide it from Lens. Okay, yeah, I didn't see you. All we have to do is break into a bank and put it in our pockets. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now I have minus forty-seven gold <laughs> and three silver. Okay, so I finished my. I am dry. Brian. So should we go? Yep. Let's just head to this next town and to try Kenham. to escape Marlow the Lich would be. Oh, he's not a lich yet. Would be. He, a, a aspiring yeah. lich. Yep. Yeah. Hit the road, Jack. I mean NPC. Let's get. Oh, that's one part of. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> They all get in there. there. <laughs> I'm sorry, the cart just made. Okay, so you all hop on it. Okay, guys. Well, I think Taichi's just gone to bed, so I'm going yeah. to call it that night. Thank you very much for hanging out. That was fun. Thank you for Thank hosting. You for being, man. I, I want to see where this goes. Is it getting crazy? Yeah, it's getting very crazy. <laughs> Yeah, okay. all right. Well, Which part are you looking for one? Uh, lots of floor today. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys right. next week.
Yeah. Yeah. Next week. Look forward Have to it. Have a nice week. Bye. Take care, everyone. Take care. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye.